journey friends my name is crystal and i'm on here tonight to share with you <laughs> my whips that have gone crazy that have gone wild that keep multiplying they're like the gremlins <laughs> they're out of control water touches them and they're like poof there's more <laughs> So I'm going to also share with you some finished objects, some squares of love, and happy mail. Um, I haven't, this last week, I haven't been able to crochet much. I, um, yeah, for those of you that are new, I live with chronic illnesses. I am bedridden the majority of the time. I overdo it and then I'm out for five, six days. I overdo it and then I'm out for five, six days. So, uh, um, that's why you don't see me on here as frequently as I would like to, but I'm hoping that that'll change here in the future. So, um, I'm going to first get into finished objects that I've been wanting to share with you. I've had, um, two of them done for a long time, three weeks, four weeks maybe, but I just haven't been healthy enough to get on here to show them. <laughs> So the first one is, I, I've showed you the progress of her before, but this is my purple velvet rabbit. She was originally going to be for Lily, but I'm going, it's now going to a yarny friend. Um, Lily, I make her tons of stuff, so she will get, I'll make her a different one. She's super duper cute. I changed her feet up a little bit from the pattern. I think that's it. I can't remember. I think everything else I did the same except for the feet. And I don't remember the name of the pattern, but um, I will put the name of it right here. And I always link everything in my description box below. So if you see a pattern you like, oh my goodness, guys. So on her... I was um, doing her nose. I didn't do a great job. I really need to practice more on noses. They're harder than you think. Well, I had a string string hanging out because I always go like in here, leave a string out. Well, I really, really liked it for the whiskers. So then I left three strands on each side and tied them up. <laughs> so I thought that was a lot of fun. I like her little... Um, larger pom-pom for her um her tail i can't think i was gonna um <laughs> my brain isn't the always the best oh my gosh you guys i was at the doctor's yesterday and i thought it was 2022 and last year was 21 i'm losing it guys <laughs> my brain isn't work and i wrote that it was um june june of 22 and it was july of 21 <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Hopefully when if I get better, my brain will work better too. <laughs> She's made out of velvet um purple velvet yarn and I love it. It's so soft. Don't think I got room for her over here, so I'll put her back over there. My next finished object is an adorable hedgehog. I saw Santi at Crochet A make it. I love the yarn and the eyes she used. Hers is so adorable, and I'm going to link that her channel with the video of her hedgehog. I love him, but I didn't have that type of yarn, and I didn't have those super cute eyes, but he's still really, really cute. <laughs> I did the tail a little bit differently because I looked up hedgehogs and their tails are more pointy like that. I debated giving him um, two legs because they're pretty simple for me to do, but I didn't feel good and I was done. So I'm, and the pattern doesn't have legs. So I was like, it's cute. It's done. Um, I really enjoyed it. I don't mind doing the loop stitch. She does it differently than what I had learned. I had to do a loop stitch for the road play mat that I really need to finish. I had to do that and she did it a different way and this way was way easier than the way I learned. So adorable hedgehog. I used for his body, I used Charisma Tweed Hues in the colorway um sweet dreams 
and I think I just used one skein of it not even the full skein and then for th this area right here it's charisma in the color probably ivory or off-white and you only need a teeny bitty teeny itty bitty <laughs> bit for that area and a little bit for his nose i loved him he's super super cute i have to make more in the future it's a very fun project but you should see hers hers is super cute my next finished object was I saw, I'm drawing a blank on her name. Her channel is called The Crochet Witch. Darn it. I'll have to put her name right here. I, I literally can't pull it up. If I can't pull up the year, I can't pull up names half the time. <laughs> and she makes these dragon, di dragon scale dice bags. And my son, um, Justin, he's my youngest, and his fiance Sarah, love to do games, and they have dice. And I thought, oh, I should make him one. I don't like mine. I don't think it turned out well. I think it's the yarn. I'm not happy with it. I changed. Uh, I wanted it to do, be a little bit of a point, like a dragon scale. I don't know. I'm just, just not happy with it. Um, I probably won't use this. I'll probably find maybe a lime green and make a different drawstring and see if I have any beads. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm not happy with this yarn. I am not a fan of this roving type of yarn. This yarn is um, yarn B wild streak and peacock. And I was going to make Sarah one, um, the wild streak in dinner with Mumbai. And if she loves it, I'll make her one. But, um, I just, it's so fuzzy. I'm not a fan of the fuzz, like all the fuzz that comes off. So that's my third finished object. I did try to pull out something and st I started another one because I was just curious, like what would it look like in a four weight yarn? And so I pulled out this. This is um, Super Saver Stripes in the color Bright Stripes. And I did start it. Ooh, that's getting blown out. And I like the look of it better in this yarn, even though this yarn isn't very soft. But I didn't know if they would like this colorway. I couldn't find like a cool dragony striped um, four weight yarn and my bazillions of yarns over there. So I don't know. I'm not going to continue with it unless, of course, they see it, they love it, then I will finish it. <laughs> so that is it. Four finished objects. So in this last month, because I really haven't shown whips or many finished objects, I've shown a few. I've shown my, um, I did within the last month finish this and design the unicorn. I'm going to add actually a couple extra. He's kind of light right here. Um, spirals. I might do a short little spiral right there. So I was working on another whip I have over here. I was working on the second unicorn to type up my pattern to get it finalized. And I wanted to do it in not a velvet yarn and to make sure everything worked out. And I was super duper excited because remember I bought that coral yarn to match and I liked it so much better and I was so happy. Well, I played yarn chicken and lost. I got, let me pull it out. Whoa. Oh no, sorry guys. <laughs> so I had, and I weighed it. I had one and a half of this sweet divinity chunky and the color is infant teal. I weighed it and I thought that I had enough, but apparently it uses a little bit more like it uses one in seven five of a skein. So I got this far in the body. It's all squished up because I had it in the bag. And this is a discontinued yarn. And I was devastated. I was devastated because it's hard for me to do things 
And so I went looking. I really wanted to do this colorway. I had bought this coral yarn. I, um, you know, had started these. It was working out really cute. I was in love. And then I got in my Burnett Satin Sparkle in the color Coral. So I was really, I love all of it. I love all of it together and I don't have enough. I try to go into Spokane to find something similar to start the body over again so I could still use, you know, this and I could still use this and I couldn't find a teal that I liked that matched this. So I was heartbroken. So if anybody has one skein of this, I would love to buy it from you. <laughs> My email is in the description box below. If you have one skein and you don't mind parting with it, this is a Hobby Lobby sale from like three, two and a half years ago. It was three sales ago. So it, it's a little bit ago. <laughs> I really want to finish this. So if you do, please, please email me. So I went shopping looking about five, no, six, seven days ago. I asked my husband if he would drive me into Hobby Lobby to, to actually try to find that color. We couldn't find it. I was so excited. I, I brought my unicorn in my bag from Ella and No Catchy Name. It was perfect. Loved it. It's so squishy. And, um... Guys, I went a little crazy. I went crazy. <laughs> Trying to find um, unicorn yarn, you know. So I went hunting and I bought way too much yarn trying to find something that made me happy. So I did start her. The yarns I chose for my unicorn was Sweet Delight Chunky in the color Sun Kiss. So I have her body done. So this is gonna be her body with some sparkles right there. And her horn, I wrap the tails around. So this will be her horn, super duper cute. Her ears are done. Um, so I bought two skeins of this for the body. I bought, I love this yarn, Sparkle in the colorway Peacock for the nostrils and the horn. I bought, I love this yarn in the color Hot Rose for her nose. Then I bought Yarn Bee Glowing Purple Multi for her, this is a little bit of a hot mess right now, but for her, for this. So I'm super excited. She's going to be adorable. I need to take photos, but I haven't been good. That's all the crocheting I've done is this and the body for a week. I, I've just been absolutely miserable because I went yarn shopping and I have post-exertion malaise and I couldn't do much. But it's eased up. Hopefully it'll stay eased up so I could have a few good days because I've got to get ready to go to my clinic. <laughs> but my pattern is, it's all written, but now I need to put it in a Word document. I did start it a little bit today, but I have to go upstairs to my office and it's very hard on me. So I got a laptop. It comes in Thursday, so now I can do it from my couch bed because it's just so hard. I don't know how to explain it unless you've experienced brutal disabling fatigue that it's just so hard to sit at a desk and work because there's so much formatting that you got to do. Changing font, ch you know, the layout, uh, printing it out, making sure it prints out, it looks good, easy to read, adding pictures. The only reason why all these aren't together is I got to take photos to insert. And um, so I'm excited because I have a table right here and that can go on my couch bed. And so I can format and work on Mr. Um, Princess Trots a lot. And then I can take it with me to Georgia. I've been wanting a laptop forever. I'm super duper excited. <laughs> Let me show you. I am going to show you my whips. Ah, it's going to be a long one, guys. So 
But before I show you my other whips, I've got to show you my yarn hauls that I got. So that yarn that you saw that for this one right here, that was it. I, part of what I bought that day, trying to figure out what do I want for a unicorn. So then, <laughs> for another unicorn, that I, so more yarn, let me try to do these in order. So I got at Hobby Lobby, I went there twice. I went back a second time, because the first time I was there, um, I couldn't, I didn't find something that I was happy with, but I did find a yarn that I fell in love with. This is Baby Bee Sweet Delight Prints in the color Sprinkles. Yep. And I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought that would make beautiful um, tassels for the unicorn mane. I love it. It's a three weight yarn, but I could not find a five weight body that I was, um, a five weight yarn that I was happy to match this. So, but I did find a six weight yarn that I really love that someday I'm gonna make a princess trots a lot with this. This is some gorgeous soft yarn. It is 100% acrylic. It is a six bulky. It's called Yarn Bee True Colors. It is, the color is yellow. And so I got two of these, though I only needed one for the main. I got four of these in hopes that that's enough. So that's the body, that's the main. And guys, I didn't realize I'd, I had already bought this, bought, purchased this color. I got two the same day because I bought them at separate times. Uh, but luckily, I love this color. So it's okay that I have extra. Someday, maybe I'll make a four weight purse a lot with this. Ooh, and then this can be the main. Ooh, that would be really, really pretty. And then I also got some, I love this yarn in black because I went to make something, some amigurami, and I didn't have black. I'm like, how did I not have black? <laughs> I have black sparkly, but that's not what I needed. So that day, that was a set. I got, I bought stuff at Hobby Lobby twice. Then I went to, um, Michael, okay, then I went to Joanne Fabrics, and I met, I, there was somebody there, she is a crocheter, she loves to crochet amigurami, her oldest son was there, he was adorable, he was a chatterbox, and he was so sweet, said that um, he would subscribe to my channel if he found me, <laughs> she makes 50 amigurami a month, 50 amigurami, I am amazed. <laughs> I've made one. <laughs> That's it. That's all I worked on. So, um, so it was funny. I saw her at Joanne and then we went and did a couple out errands. Then we went to Michael's and then there was, she was at Michael's. <laughs> we were stalking each other. So at Joanne's, what I got in the theme of, um, oh, darn it. When I went to Hobby Lobby, I also got because I just just I just really wanted this cuz I thought it was cute. I got I love this yarn print in the color fruit salad. I just really wanted that in my um stash. Loved it. So at Joanne's in the theme of okay, what can I do to make a um princess trots a lot? I found I really like this yarn and they're discontinuing carrying it. I need to look online. I wonder if they got a teal. Hmm. Anyway, so I found this. It's a purple. I don't know how well it's showing up to you. It's Lion Brand Color Made Easy. It is a five bulky. This was on clearance for $4.47. It's a 200 grams, so it would have had enough to do the body in. And then I got to pair with it, Caron Simply Soft in the color rainbow bright. So I really think that this for the main, it would make a super duper cute, I don't have any by me, um, 
main body and then I could do maybe a, a yellow if, there, if I have a sparkly yellow. I don't know if I do have a sparkly yellow. Anyway, um, I could do the horn maybe in the pink. I don't know. I'd have to put it together and, and, and figure it out. But it just wasn't, I like it a lot, but it wasn't like just making me giddy like this other combo. And I'm going to have this forever in my pattern my princess trots a lot so but I got it just in case as a backup to make someday <laughs> then um I don't remember her name she said to her this is her unicorn colors and I really really liked it I'm typically not a red heart super saver fan because it's so rough but for amigurami I will use it here and there for their stripes I, will, I won't buy it in solids anymore, but man, they got the best colors. So I really thought that is a very cute stripe. It does scream unicorn. It's called Retro Stripe. Super Saver Stripes in the color Retro Stripe. So I had to have that in my stash. Now I'm kicking myself. I don't know if I should have got two. And then um, when you saw this, I got two of these that day as well bright stripes because somebody said I think it was Sandy Crochet A said that Super Saver is getting rid of their striped yarn so I got that bummed I didn't get another one of those but maybe next time so I'm not done guys <laughs> I love yarn I'm addicted to yarn <laughs> The last thing I got was, I went to Michael's, and that's when I saw her again, and I got this yarn for a unicorn, possibly, and this would be for the mane, and then I got two of these for the body. Now, this yarn looks good with... Oh, I put it away. That Hobby Lobby, that rainbow one, this one would have went well with that as, as well. <laughs> so I got that. I got two of those, that, and then I got this. This was on clearance. This is Impeccable Magenta, and that lady I told you that I met there, she saw that they were on clearance, and she grabbed them all. But I was in my wheelchair, and I didn't see that they were on clearance, and um, she let me have one. Wasn't that sweet of her? So these all match really well. So, yeah, yeah, that's all the yarn I bought that day um, so I could make one princess uh, trots a lot. <laughs> uh, guys, if you knew how many yarn hauls I have that I haven't had the ability to show you. You'd be shocked. So, okay, next I'm going to show you my whips that I've gotten started, and I haven't finished them, and some of them are close to being done. So, this is, uh, I'm, this is in a glass bowl. Yeah, it's a crystal glass bowl that we found at, uh, like, an antique place. <laughs> so, I'm making this Mr. Purs a lot for a, um, a girl that has Asperger's and my, uh, you know, um, my youngest son, Justin has Asperger's and she had, um, made me a card one time and I, for eight months now I've wanted to make her something and I'm just sick. It's hard. <laughs> so this is for her and, um, her favorite color is, is yellow and pink. Oh, there's something on it. Oh, no. Okay. I think got it. So the, I'm using this, um, for this Mr. Purs a lot. The chunky bloom in the color Daisy. Ella, if you're watching this, you just finished the blanket in this. Ella is at no catchy name. It was so funny. She she just made a adorable baby blanket in this. And I will link that in the description box below the video where she shows the blanket in this. It turned out really pretty. So it took two of these. I used almost all of it. I have the nose done, but I think I, I need to make the nose slightly, well I do, I'm gonna make the nose bigger. I have the ears done. The ears are yellow. I have 
the little patches that go in the ear done and I am working on the tail yeah I'm that close guys and this has been done for three four weeks this much and yeah I put it down <laughs> so then another whip that you guys saw this is my um, princess trots a lot in the huge gigantic so this is something I've started in the last month but have not finished you have seen my ah, my pandy that I started to design within I've been working this started within the last month and I haven't finished it and in this beautiful gorgeous bag that I bought from Rel the Dabbling Hook hi Rel I love this bag and it holds a lot so <laughs> So this project guys I need help I need help <laughs> I wanted something easy for days that I'm just super duper sick and I can barely crochet and I needed I need something easy so I really need a blanket and that's what this was supposed to be but I watched a, a tutorial from Mikey at the crochet crowd he is an excellent teacher I love the way he teaches I love um, how he explains things it's just how my mind works how he kind of gives you these catchphrases like you're doing this to go around the corner I don't know I can't it's been a while so he did this in a five or a six weight yarn and I wanted to do it in a four weight yarn and I should have my center strip should have been way shorter so I started this out as a blanket and the length was getting too long and the width wasn't growing wide enough it was going to be crazy long and not very wide so when I got to a certain point I thought you know what I'm going to make a cardigan out of this I love this yarn I got it at like three years ago at a Hobby Lobby clearance haul <laughs> but I put it down because I got the back panel done and the two front panels done and since I'm just winging it and not going off a of design it needed brain power to do the collar to sew it together do the collar and then figure out how I wanted to do the arms and I just haven't been well enough to do things like that so this I have it all clipped together I don't have it sewn together this is my back panel I might have this inside out I don't know anyway this is my back panel and here are the two front panels they're done I have everything um, stitch markered together these panels probably should have been slightly wider so instead of taking that instead of trying to add more rows I am just going to make a very large um, collar that goes around it so this doesn't look super good like this but in real life it looks pretty cute so that's what I'm doing the yarns I'm using so I'm pretty far but my brain just won't engage for for working on the arms and winging it, the granny stitch. I gotta figure out the granny st stitch, how wide I want it and to taper it down. So the yarn I'm using is called, I love this yarn print and the name Chio, C-I-A-O. I love it guys, I love this. I have more of it and then I popped in some solid colors. I'm using Red Heart Soft in Sea Foam. I'm using Red Heart Soft in Cinnabar. And I'm using Red Heart Soft in Off White. Aren't those cute together? So that's where I am on that. But I have put that sucker down a couple weeks ago and have not been able to pick it back up. I just hope I get better. I would have so much more done. <laughs> so
So that's a whip within the last month that I have started. <laughs> um, um, oh, my nose. Another whip I started. This is um, a blanket. This is the blanket I wanted to do, but it's a five bulky. And a five bulky, when I'm not feeling well, is kind of harder for me to make. Okay, so the reason why I started this, I don't have it by me is I got this Red Heart Hygie yarn in the colorway teal. Hirsch Nurse was having a sale three for eight dollars and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna get a whole bunch and make me a blanket because the color is gorgeous and it's super duper soft. So I started a corner to corner afghan in this to work on when um, I'm not feeling well but I still when you don't have energy a five bulky is still a little hard to work on so um, so I started that in the last month um, I've shown you guys Sorry guys. Oh no. <laughs> Everything's falling. Maybe I'll cut that out. Maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll see how bad it is. <laughs> so I've shown you guys this before and I'm super duper close to being done, but I got discouraged. Um, this is that heart sweater that I am making. I have it all done, but I have to make the sleeves longer because it's a little bit short in the length and then the sleeves are like a little bit short too and it looks stupid on me. If I had the sleeves long and it a little bit short in the length, that's okay. Or if you had a long sweater and short or sleeve, that's okay, but to have both of them short looks like you're wearing a kid's sweater that doesn't belong on your body. <laughs> but look at how far I'm done. So I just need to add like two, three rows of um, on the sleeve because I even have the little cuffs done that you got to sew on there. So this is my sweater, but you see how short it is? And the sh sleeves are too short but it fits me quite well. It goes to my waist. It, it looks actually miniaturized on here, but it is long enough. It doesn't look stupid short. It's just these sleeves need to be a bit longer to balance out the cropness of the sweater. So I just have to add like three or four rows. And then, um, and then put these on. And you know what, guys? I'm really, really liking. She has you add the, the brim on the top separately on the bottom and here. And I, I'm actually liking it better this way. I had figured out, and now I can't remember. I hopefully I can look at it and see what I did, and videotape what I did, because you know when you add your single crochets to the end of something, you see that V, you see a V. I just don't like the way it looks. But when you add the brim and you sew it on, I, I was figured out a way to sew it on, you don't see it. Look, look you guys, look at how perfect that looks. You don't have those V stitches. If you were to, to single crochet into here and do a chain and then go back and forth that way, you would have these V stitches. So I did this brim by itself and then, you know, seamed it up and then I was so um, sewing it on and I figured out a way, that's the inside, a way to make it look really sharp and nice. And I don't remember what I did. Ah, I should have videotaped myself doing it. Hopefully I can figure it out because I think that looks doesn't that look good? 
It looks so much better than adding the single crochet. I keep repeating it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, let me show you the back. I think I messed up on the back. Yes, I did. Look, and I, did, I was bad. I'm like, I'm not taking it out. So look at when I first started sewing it on, you could see the lines and I didn't like that. So I figured out a way to do it without having those lines. And I wasn't ripping it back because my tail was gigantic long. I figured that's going to be on the back. And then I figured I could show you guys the difference. Like you see the lines sewing it on and then this way you don't. And see, the collar, I hadn't figured it out yet either. So the collar doesn't look as good as that. It still doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look as good as I side sewed that on um, after I did this. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I, I can like pick it back if I have to just to see what I did. And hopefully I can do a video to show you guys. Man, there's so many tutorials and videos I want to do. I'm hoping so badly that um, this clinic helps me and then I can do all these tutorials that I've wanted to do. <laughs> so that is something I did this last month. Look at how close it is, guys. I'm like almost done. I just got to add some rows and put the cuffs on and it's done. <laughs> I've showed you this before. This is my last whip I'm going to show you. I'm at 36 minutes. Um, look at, so this is that tank top that I was making out of this yarn. I don't know how to say that word. But I got this yarn at Little Knits for a really good price. And I'm close. So I got the front panel done and I have the back panel done. I just need to seam it up, add straps, and I think I might add a bottom. She doesn't have a bottom to it. I don't remember the name of this pattern. So this is the front side and then that's the back side. Look at how close I am guys. I'm so close. But again, when my brain doesn't work well, I have a hard time, I have a hard time working on things. Then I was so excited thinking I got a top to match it, but these tops are, so isn't that going to look cute? But these tank tops are crazy long. They're like a dress tank top, almost. They're not quite a dress and they're not quite a tank top. They're somewhere in between. I can't wait to get healthier so I can go to the store in person and I don't have to buy online because a lot of times I buy online, it doesn't work out and I'm too sick to return it and then I miss the return deadline. So, but luckily some of the other tank tops I got, I really like them to wear to bed. So that worked out well, but they're way, way too long for a normal person to wear. I mean, they're crazy long. So yeah, I'm super duper close to getting this done. I don't know the pattern name, but I will always link the patterns in the description box below. I'll try to remember to put the name of this pattern here. I want to make it again. I love it. It's a fun pattern. So those are all the things that I have had on my hook this month and um, haven't got done. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to put this one back. Okay, the last thing I want to show, even though we're at 40 minutes, this is going to be long. I wonder if I should do it separately. Hmm. I think I am. I think I'm going to stop this for now. You'll probably see me in the same clothes, uh, but I will post them two different days because um, we're at 40 minutes. What are you guys working on? Do you guys have a lot of whips as well? Or do you tend to get to a harder part in a project and put it down because for some reason you have to stop? Usually for me, it's fatigue, brutal, disabling fatigue. Um, 
that's usually why I stop a project and then I have to do something that really tickles me or that's just super easy for me. Um, but I would love to know what you're working on right now. I love you guys. I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe. Um, oh, and if you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you could subscribe, that would be fantastic. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.